From Bustleton to Broome, this is Spirit Drive. Thanks to Reed's Prospecting Supplies. Matt can't help you with gold prospecting or treasure hunting, but Reed's can. Head to reedsprospecting.com.au. That is Blur Country House. Spirit Drive right across WA. It is 27 minutes away from 6 o'clock. We're in the middle of the happy hour and it's really great to be joined right now by Australia's greatest illusionist, Cosentino, I couldn't think of a better person to join us in the happy hour. Very good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Happy hour. Yes, so it's all, you know, everyone's in their cars right now driving mm-hmm. home. It's all good. You've been having a very busy day. What have you been up to here in WA today? We've been running around doing some promo for this new children's book. I've done a, a keynote presentation. I think this is uh, interview number eight or nine. Far out. And, 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 and How then, many coffees um, have you had so far? I've had two so far and Not did a, a presentation to some managers and tried to motivate them. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Come on, do it. That's Come great. On. But it's very fascinating because uh, I'm just wondering, have you played a role in the news today? Because we've had five politicians suddenly mm. disappear. Coincidence? Well, I don't know. What's well, going on I there? I can't reveal too much. <laughs> you never know. I'm not in town You're very often. You're doing dirty work at the other yeah, side of the well, country. They say, yeah, well, they say Houdini <laughs> used to be a, uh, a secret agent. You never know. Maybe I am. Now, last time you were on the program as well, we were touching on your learning difficulties mm. as a child, but you're truly a face of tackling adversity head on, and, and now you showcase this brilliant talent to the rest of the world, and you know, you're showcasing that talent in children's books. It's a really remarkable story, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah, it's about a well, it's a real story about a kid who couldn't read, couldn't read till he was twelve years old, shy, introverted, low self esteem, stumbles across a magic book in the library, uh, didn't want to be in the library because of course couldn't read. Mm-hmm. Have this book read to me by my mother, who's a school principal, and slowly learn some magic tricks and in the process learn how to read. Mm. So going from a kid who hates reading to love reading because of magic to then writing books. It's a it's that's the point of the story. It's full circle. You know, if you were to say to me when I was a twelve year old kid, would you write books? Would you be interested in books? I'd say no way. Mm. But that's the message I need to get out there that things your your past does not equal your future. That's pretty much when you got the spark of magic, wasn't it? Around that time, around that age? 12 years old. Something I also want to point out, I mean, we're getting the growth of YouTube. I mean, that wasn't mm. really, well, it was kind of around when you were doing Australia's Got Talent. Yes, it just come through. It was People just be- were yeah. very harsh and, and um, didn't quite understand the medium yet and, yeah. and thought that you could just say and do whatever you want, which I guess people still think that, but... It was very brutal back then going in a competition format and having people um, critique it so vocally um, on, on, on the internet. What do you think about YouTube now? I mean, I like watching Penn and Teller mm. fool us. It's one of my favourite mm. shows at the moment. And they get some of the contestants on the program talking about, you know, and how they did actually fool Penn and yeah. Teller in Vegas. But then they also reveal their tricks mm. as well. Uh, how do you feel about that? It's kind of like a double-edged sword, isn't it? It is a little bit. We've been asked to do the show, actually, just recently. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, which is kind of cool. Um, I, mean, I think Penn and Teller are great. I mean, look, I, I don't like the reveal of secrets only for artistic purposes. No, nothing more than, you know, I'm not here to say, oh, I know how to do something you don't. You can learn how to do a trick. Yeah. Anyone can learn how to do a trick. Anyone can learn how to juggle. Yeah. Um, but very few people can make it look like magic. There's a yeah. big difference. And doing a trick and actually creating a profession and then putting it into a story and then touring an act and, and, and making two hours out of it, two different things. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, revealing the secrets to me is, is a bit it's a bit lame, to be perfectly honest. But do I feel affected by it? Not, not really. It not, not, doesn't offend me in any way. But we're looking forward to the illusions uh, that you're about to bring us through. So I, I noticed there was a box outside the studio. Should I yes. be worried? Oh, well, Am we, I going to end up in one piece? Say, we're going to saw deal? you in half. <laughs> Should well, we do that? It could be yeah. a good idea. We're going to put this video up as well on our website at spiritradio.com.au. The amazing Cosentino is joining us right now in the happy hour on Spirit Drive. We're going to get back into the music. The latest now from Stereophonics, all in one night. It's 23 to 6. Right across WA, we are driving you home on the Spirit Stereophotics all in one night. It is 18 to 6, and I am joined by Cosentino, his brand new book as well. Check it out, The Mysterious World of Cosentino, The Missing Ace. That is out now. All right, I'm very excited. Uh, you, you, put, you packed away the saw, so that's not yep. happening then. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Pleasure. All right, what have you got for us today? All right, let me show you a pack of cards. They're all different. Okay. 52 unique cards. Brilliant. Yes. yes, I think that, yep, we've yep. got that all filmed. Yep. Great, perfect. Fantastic. I'll run my thumb down, call stop, we get a random card, okay? Okay. Stop. Right there, take it, have a look. 
I'll get you to sign the card. Sign the card, so yes, I can sign, write anything. Sign your name on it. Yeah. Okay. Or you can sign anything. You can put any anything you want. All right. So there we go. Spirit on it. I'm just going to go. Yep. Spirit drive. Now this, by the way, is a permanent sharpie. It is permanent okay. ink. Spirit drive. Okay. okay. So this is what I do. We can see it's not going to rub off. There's mm -hmm. only one card like this in the entire deck. I take the six of spades, which is your card. Six of spades. Sign. I place it into around about the middle. Do you see that? Yes. And look what happens. Okay. That has now gone in. It's doing a little bit of a flick right there. Oh, -ho. what happens? Very cool. Very it cool indeed. Top, it did. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it again. Watch All what right. I do. Watch what I do. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll push it. I'll leave it hanging out just a little bit. We'll show yep. the camera. That's got there. Spirit there we drive. go. Spirit drive. It's on there. It's on okay. the camera. Okay. This is Six what we'll I'll get really close. Watch what I do. Watch. Okay. I am watching you now. I'm going to take it. Your job is to is to push it push it. Yep. Right into the pack. Push it right into the pack. Right in. Yep. So that is me. That is done. I've touched that. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Did you see that? <laughs> yes. That just popped out in his mouth. There you go. There you go. Look at that. That Straight is fascinating. We do, should, we, should, we, should we try something else? With yeah, okay. Why not? You know what? I'm going to get you to write on it again for me. Okay, I'm going to write this on. All right, okay. So anywhere here. So, anywhere all right, on the six of spades. On the six of spades. We are there. That's Perfect. in. That's done. I've just written mat on there. Okay. <laughs> nice and dry. Yep. Okay. This is what I do. I'm going to put a little bend in your card. Okay. Which will allow you to keep track of it. Yes. It's not really little. It's quite quite big. Yeah, very see noticeable. Yep. Very noticeable. So when you see the bend, then you'll know it's your card. There you go. You can you yep, see that bend? Yeah, that's very, very it. obvious. Very yes. Obvious. Look, I put it dead center. Is that fair? That is very fair. You can't be any more fair than that. You can't be more fair than that. It's yep. In the middle. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh no way. No way. <laughs> what? How the heck? I jumped to the top. That is it. That is the card that I've been signing on. That is card? absolutely hectic. There you go. You That's are a an little bit of sleight of hand magic for you. <laughs> Ten years of a misspent youth. <laughs> That is absolutely fantastic. You have certainly blown me away. We're going to put that video up as well. Check it out for yourself. We're going to put it up at spiritradio.com.au, Spirit Radio Network. Now, mate, I know you're here in WA for a short while. You're going to be heading away very soon. A brand new TV show in the works as well. Tell us about it. Yes, Sony AXN called The Elements Made for Asia. Yep. It... Um, we've been filming it for a couple of months. It, it basically airs March next year. On the AXN network. That's the largest English speaking network. That's brilliant. And it goes into 22 countries, 100 million viewers. <sighs> and they make uh, Asia's Got Talent, The Amazing Race, Asia, MasterChef Asia, and, and now our new show. So it's made um, for the uh, uh, basically mm. for Asia. And, and we went to, where did we go? Kuala Lumpur, Taipei, Manila, Singapore, and elements are being filmed this week in Melbourne. So no rest for the wicked as well. You are still pretty much a okay. Bam, bam, bam. Right through the Christmas period as well. Through the Christmas period, no Christmas, no uh, third year in a row, no um, wow. Christmas, Christmas Eve, yeah. no New Year's Eve, no New Year's Day. I'm always working. I'm always travelling. But I have my brother with me. Yeah. I have my girlfriend with me, so they all travel. So I have my family with me. So it's not as bad as I make it sound. But the point <laughs> is, working hard. You know, try, you know, really trying to break these markets and bring. Australian magic to the world. It's never been done before. Mm -hmm. You know, we were the first to have our own Australian television show, and now we're trying to internet, you know, really break internationally. Yeah, well, I'm an absolute fan with what you do, mate. It's an absolute pleasure having you here, right here in Western Australia, not on the phone like we usually do. I know. Having you back in the studio. In looking, it's yeah, rare. <laughs> it's very rare. Costantino, mate, thank you very much for joining us on the Happy Hour. Thank you for having me. we got What's On in WA up next.